Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So the very first thing is I wanted to share with you the news that Angela has been tested positive for the COVID-19 virus. As you can see right here, guys, this is the results from the lab. And here, as you can see, address is Lassie. Lassie is the city in Romania that Angela is living at. And here, as you can see, guys, uh, SARS-CoV-19 is positive. And I'm showing here this uh, part of our chat with the chat between me and Angela just to confirm to you that this is this is really news. And here, as you can see, she's saying that she cannot smell anything and she cannot taste any food at all. And after doing the test, this is what has came out. That being said, we decided that actually for the whole week, for one week, we are not going to send any forex signals. Um, her health and safety is our top priority, of course and we want her for a quick recovery to relax her mind and to take rest and therefore it's much better actually that we should actually give her a break and take rest for a quicker recovery and hopefully she will be back very soon so therefore for one week we are not going to send any forex signals and of course meanwhile i wanted to share with you also the results of the past week uh, we had actually amazing week the whole week was going really very well as you can see uh, 23rd february um, all of the signals, actually, all of them have reached take, pro take profit number two and three of them take profit number three. Only from three signals, we have made uh, 340 prof uh, pips of profit only from three signals. And then the next day, <clears throat> as you can see, we had also some uh, good day as well. Uh, so many profits pound in the 120 pips of profit. Uh, Euro USD, we closed it with only 17 pips of loss. Sadly, friday friday we were not lucky <clears throat> this is the results from thursday by the way uh thursday as you can see it was really good day as well a uh, few really few losses here and there but however the the profits were really bigger euro pound has made 100 pips of profit hitting take profit number three but as i said before friday as you can see i'm just being very transparent and honest with everyone i'm sharing with you the results right here right in front of you these are the signals that we have sent last uh, friday sadly it was really bad day but however we apologize to our members and we promise them that the, the next week is going to be better uh, sadly of course we cannot send any signals for the next week so they have to wait for the week after but however i believe that it's really unfair to judge our service from one day and uh, also because of one day of course we are doing very well the whole month and the point of our service is to deliver to you profit in the end of the month not in the end of the day because in forex you can never have a stable good results or like this is going straight up of course there will be ups and downs but in the end hopefully we are gonna climb our way up and hopefully the signals is gonna continue the good way as you guys have always used to see by yourself so in the end if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description be below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there so let's now begin with the weekly analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro usd now for the euro usd if we look at the daily chart we can notice right here that the candle actually has closed on thursday night as a strong or a good bearish uh, bearish pin bar and then on friday the market actually has fallen down all the way creating this strong bearish candle or a strong engulfing bearish candle now it's obviously that the euro usd is going to be good for the short and right now we can notice right here that the euro usd has actually failed to break out from that long-term uh, resistance zone at 1.2185. Now, what we can expect right now from the EURUSD, right now we are actually aiming this support right here on 1.19582. If we draw here a resist, uh, sorry, a, a support trend line like this, just like this, we can notice that the EURUSD is actually on its, on its way to revisit that support trend line and after that, we have to see uh, to see what will going to happen if the pair is going to be able to make any bearish breakout from that long term resistance at 1.9, uh, sorry, 1.19582 or not. But however, for the meantime, we are going to uh, maintain a short position from this level right here until the pair reaches that support trend line, as I have mentioned before. And also we can see right here that the pair is moving in a bearish trend, uh, sorry, uh, respecting this resistance trend line. And in other words, now the EURUSD is being trapped inside this channel. Now we have to wait to see what will going to happen because actually if the pair is going to continue the fall, 
and make the break out from that uh, resi uh, from that support trend line that's going to be actually a really good sign to again short the pair because if that happens we can look for long term of shorting until th the pair reaching this support at 1.16900 if the pair actually has made a bearish breakout candle uh, or sorry a bearish breakout from the uh, from this support trend line otherwise we ha we can expect actually from the pair to continue moving to be ranging inside this uh, channel until it finally make the price explosion to be either either uh, good for the shorts or for the buy we have to wait but for the meantime on the daily chart it's obviously that the euro usd is good for the short now the question is where we can start shorting the pair actually we can start shorting it right away we only have to uh, if we look here at the left let me just show you this if we look at the left we can notice right here guys this is strong key resistance level as we can see this level can never be ignored look at that the pair actually has respected this level so many times and if we move backward to the back again to the same uh, to the sorry to the, to the current time we can see that the very same level has become right here a strong support level and again here a support and right now the pair actually has made a break out from that level indicates that most likely it's going to revisit this level and then continue the fall all of that uh, is uh, actually given by seeing the movement right here on the attempt to break out from the resistance trend line it seems like that the pair is actually uh, or actually has tried to break out from that level of the resistance but failed and look at that we have i think let me see how many candles we have right here we have actually more than almost 10, 10 candles uh, all of them bearish candles and that's telling us that the pair must likely having a strong pressure from the sellers and the market is going to actually continue the fall all the way until it reaches the level of the support at 1.19582 so that being said yes i know i talk too much <laughs> your usd is going to be good for the short at 1.20918 and the target is going to be right here take profit at 1.19582 now for the safe zone of course let me just delete this one so it won't confuse confuse anyone and let's see the safe zone actually should be ranging just right here at the top of that other resistance right here so we are talking about 50 or 48 pips of safe zone which is really uh, good and fair enough and there goes your signal for the euro usd and i really hope it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits pound usd now by looking at the pound usd we can see that the pair actually has made a strong bearish momentum as well and most likely the pound usd is not gonna stop until it retests that broken resistance at 1.37593 by the way i forgot to mention that from the short for shorting from uh, shorting of the euro usd we can expect about 133 pips of profit now again back to the pound usd uh, with this strong bearish momentum i don't think the pound usd is going to stop until it revisit or retest that broken resistance at 1.37593 so we can expect from the pair to fall for another um, 164 pips before the reversal until then we can maintain our short positions so let's go back to the four hour time frame now again guys on the daily chart we identified the levels and we identified the the general momentum of the trend that this strong uh, bullish trend actually has is getting actually almost over or i don't want to say it's almost over um look at these two candles what i'm trying to tell you this like looking at these two candles actually if we check the chart there was not a single time that the market has made this strong momentum or this strong movement or strong bearish movement that tells us that this strong uh, uh, resist uh, this tr uh, trend line or this trend movement uh, is actually now getting over and that's telling us that the pair is actually going to continue the fall guys maybe i'm just you know net english is not my native language guys <laughs> so i'm just trying to find the right words to use i hope you guys understand me i don't don't think a bad way about me i'm just really trying my best to uh speak english fluently anyway what i'm trying to say now here is that the pound usd is going to be good for the short and however we need to look at the strong levels to identify where we can start shorting the pair now by looking at this zone right here this one we can notice that the pair actually has created here a resistance 
and that the very same resistance has become right here a strong support now we can tell it was a strong support by see by seeing this strong pin bar the this pin bar here representing the reaction of the market once the candles has actually revisited that the same level of the resistance to become a new support now what happened next is that this was a support number one it was the first attempt of the support what happened next is that the market has actually tra uh, created created a fake pin bar yes there is a fake pin bar this is actually a fake pin bar indicated that the market is actually going to continue the rise after creating support number two but no it wasn't it was actually a continuation and the market actually has continued the fall and this support level has again become resistance so this resistance is maintaining its position as a resistance now what's going to happen next we can expect from the pound usd to, to to just make another pullback to create a resistance number one because right here we are having here resistance number one and right here we can expect from the market from the pound usd to make another pullback to rise again to create resistance number two that's going to be our good chance to start shorting the pair and keep the trade running until it hit that uh, previous resistance right here actually you know something i'm gonna change the target and just make it right here till this support level right there just for uh more safety so therefore uh the pound usd is gonna be good for the sh to, to the short exactly from this point right here exactly yes we can expect from it to rise for another 30 pips before it's gonna be valid for uh the sell so therefore pound usd is good for the short at 1.39577 and the take profit is gonna be good at 1.37792 as we can see right here so we are actually aiming about 100 and 180 pips profit from this trade and of course the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit above that resistance to tell us that this trade is no longer valid just right here exactly so we are talking about a safe zone of about 63 pips let me just make it i don't want it to make it more than 50 pips which is really fair because actually it has to be just a little bit above that resistance so there goes your safe zone just like that exactly uh just like that that's better so there goes your signal for the pound usd hopefully also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits now AUD USD, look at that strong bearish momentum that's amazing and once again guys yes all right i'm back so i was telling you that this bearish momentum is amazing really and the pair actually showing a strong bearish momentum uh with this strong fall we can expect right now from the AUD USD to continue the fall until it revisits that support level at 0 0.75806 and this actually is support number one we can expect from the pair to pair to continue the fall actually immediately until it created a support number two. Now, where, where we are going to start shorting the pair, we will short the pair exactly from that previous support level exactly right there because the momentum is very strong, as I said, and I really doubt that the AUD USD is going to rise for that resistance. I don't think this is going to happen. The pair most likely is going to reverse exactly from that support right there and continue the fall until it hit that support level. So we can actually make the safe zone ranging until the peak of that resistance. So that being analyzed on the daily chart, let's go now to the four hour time frame. And on the four hour time frame, we can notice that right here, we're having right here this support level that I just talked about. Exactly, exactly just like this. This is the support level that is going to be retested again. And then the pair is actually going to continue the fall. I believe this is a very accurate and good analysis and I believe we will make really good profit out of it. So AUD USD for the short as 0.77306 and we are actually aiming about 148 pips profit from this trade. Take profit at 0 0.75806. And the safe zone, as I said, as I mentioned earlier, it has to be ranging just till that next resistance just right here where i really i really i really doubt that the pair is actually gonna raise uh, gonna rise till that level so it's gonna be 53 pips which is again very fair there goes your signal for the AUD USD, and i really hope it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits 
Guys, of course, I forgot to mention something very important that we can never, never short immediately with, without seeing a good price action or, an, or, or any, uh, anything indicates that we can actually start shorting because you really don't want to start shorting if you see here a strong bullish candle. For example, if the market on Friday, on Monday morning has opened right here with a very strong bullish candle, then of course don't sell. You you have to be logic about your picking your trades and these signals. We are not telling you that we can you can start shorting immediately just when you see the candle touches that level. It's always advised that you have to wait for the price action. You have to see some something as, such as a bearish pin bar, or a doji, or uh, a reversed hammer, for example, like this, or anything indicates that the pair actually has failed to break out from that level. But seeing a strong bullish candle yet you are shorting it's not really the smartest thing so please be careful and this ap applies on all of the pairs that i am giving the signals not only this one now let's move to the usd cad as you can see the pair has actually made a strong rise it has actually broke out from that long-term resistance as uh, 1.26435 and the pair actually continued the the, the broke the, 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 the breakout without even retesting that level that's amazing so the dollar is actually rising the dollar is getting stronger and we have to go to go along with the pair and therefore we have to go along with the market and just swim with the flow so therefore what we can expect right now is from the usd cad if we draw here a, res a, a resistance trend line just like this one and what i'm going to do is actually i'm going to clone it and that's actually by the way one of the strategies of extreme trader we can expect from the pair to fall a little bit more retesting the, uh, that uh, re resistance trend line and from that point it's going to continue the rise however this is only of course on the daily chart if we want to know ex the exact right level to start short uh, sorry buying we have to go back to the four hour time frame and there we can actually decide where we will start buying the pair now what i'm expecting from the usd cad on monday opening that here we are having here a very strong resistance zone and as we can see it was also a strong support in the past now we are not really sure what will gonna happen on monday morning if the pair actually gonna maintain this as uh, strong bullish momentum to continue that to continue the breakout or it's actually gonna reverse to create a pullback where we can actually start again buying the pair now this price action this candle right here this is the, the reverse hammer this is my my actually uh not reverse hammer sorry this is my favorite price action which usually indicates a continue oh sorry usually indicates a bearish reversal once you see the scandal on the top of the resistance you should know that the market right now it seems like it's get, getting ready for a pullback so most likely i don't think the usd cad is going to continue the rise immediately by seeing the scandal i can expect for for the next candle to be a red one it's going to make a pullback and retesting the broken resistance right here and from that point we can start buying the usd cad so we have to wait for the pair for the pair to fall for another 50 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy therefore exactly right here now why i'm picking this level easy to answer that is because here on the left we can see that we have here a key a key support level and also we can see that right here this is strong bullish candle this strong uh, bullish breakout candle after looking at it we can see that the nearest wick to this bullish breakout candle is exactly the top of this wick as, as we're right here that is exactly the level where you want to start buying after the bullish breakout candle most likely the market is actually gonna reverse exactly from that point and that is also one of the, th the, thing the things that i have taught here on my channel so that being said uh usd cad usd cad is good for the buy at 1.26840 Two six eight four zero right and the target this time is actually gonna be right here the peak of the resistance at 1.27629 so we are talking about exactly 100 pips of profit hopefully we'll make him so take profit level is gonna be 1.27378 and for the safe zone of course it has to be ranging just a little bit uh, till that resistance level right here so we are talking about 43 pips which is let's just make it a little bit more exactly just like that yeah there is no need to make it 50 pips exactly um 47 48 is actually fair enough so let me just fix this one as well 
the shape of the safe of the safe zone. There goes your signal for the USD CAD this week, and I really hope also it is going going very well. It's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. Now let's take a look at the USD JPY. Now the USD JPY, as you can notice right here, we have here a, uh, a long term resistance trend line, as we can see right here, guys, and that resistance uh, trend line has been broken out from by this by seeing this strong bullish breakout candle. Now. That tells us that most likely what is going to happen next for the USDGPY that the pair is actually going to continue the rise until it reaches that long term resistance right here on 107.903. In my opinion, if I'm not mistaken, this is exactly what's going to happen. The pair is actually going to continue the rise until it reaches that level. So we are talking about almost 182 pips. If we look also on the weekly chart, for the weekly chart, we can notice here that it's very obvious that the USD GPY is moving uh, on a strong bu uh, bullish momentum, and most likely right here we are having also a strong support uh, key support levels. Most likely right now, after seeing the breakout from that resistance as well, we can notice from the USD GPY to fall a little bit more, retesting that or actually that retesting the broken resistance, and that support is going to maintain its level as well. And from that point, the pair is actually going to continue the move, uh, the rise. So let's go back to the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, we can notice right here that we are having that strong key resistance level. And I, I just talked about this one. And that support has also become right here a support number one. That resistance has become a support number one. Now we can expect also from the USD GPY to fall a little bit, a little bit more. So that, that support is going to actually. Uh, or actually we will witness here another support number two then from that point it's going to be valid for the buy so we are waiting to buy at the support number two or the second attempt of the support so therefore we are going to start buying as i said at the same level of the previous resistance so therefore buy the usd gpy at 106.235 Again, guys, please don't buy the pair unless you see a strong bullish candle or actually a strong uh, pin bar or a, a doji or whatever that indicates that the pair actually has failed to break out from the level and it's going to actually reverse at that certain level exactly. Please always maintain a, a good up and a proper money management plan and always prepared for the losses because in Forex there is absolutely nothing guaranteed. The losses are expected every single day. There is no way that you can trade without losing. It's impossible. Sadly, actually, this is sad because a lot of people, when they learn a new strategy, they go immediately to 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 to, to, re, to back test it on their in their meta trader, and it might work for one, two, three times. But if it fails for one time only, he will say no. That strategy is not good. I don't want it. It's it's a failure strategy. It's, it's it's a bad one. I don't want it. I want a never fail strategy. And sadly, that doesn't exist in the forex world. If you are trading, and you want to become a forex trader, you have to always be prepared for the losses because they are simply part of the game. And I honestly have no reason why did I mention this, but I have to mention it anyway, because it's actually I think it's a very important topic and. Um, it's one of the reasons why a lot of people are failing in trading forex because um, they are just getting greedy. Sadly, a lot of people are actually failing in trading forex because they just um, can't find one strategy to stick to it. They are just hungry to learn more and more strategies, and if one strategy fail, they will just abandon it and just look for another one. So therefore, I'm telling you guys, always be prepared because I'm just sending these signals based on technical analysis, but there is also the fundamental analysis. And sometimes there, there might be some news that affect the USD dollar currency index, and that will affect all of the pairs actually, and might lead to the failure of all these signals that I have just given you. All of that depend on, on the news or the statements or whatever happened, especially the news about the vaccination in the United States or any uh, news about any uh, any medical company that preparing these uh, vaccines so uh yes i'm talking too much again there goes your signal for the usd gpy and i hope it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits now looking at the uccchf for the uccchf i believe it's very obvious that on the daily chart we can notice right here that the pair actually has made a strong bullish bullish breakout from that resistance right here and of course this one as well these two candles by the way guys representing a fake breakout 
I don't have the time to explain the reason. Uh, anyway, uh, they are presenting a fake breakout. Therefore, this is the resistance right here. And what we can see right here is a support number one. So we are actually now waiting for the pair to fall for another support to create support number two. Then from that point, of course, the pair is going to face this strong key support level. I doubt if the pair actually going to make any breakout from that level. So therefore, we can expect from the USDCHF to finish the pullback pattern exactly at that level. Then we can start again buying the USDCHF. We have to wait for the pair to fall for another 56 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. So um, we can start buying USDCHF at 0 0.90253 exactly like this and the target of course guys is going to be the peak of the resistance right here uh, at 0 0.91910 so we are actually aiming about 166 pips profit from this trade so therefore take profit level 0 0.91910 very nice number and the safe zone should be actually ranging just a little bit below that support level exactly my eyes actually looking right here if the pair actually gonna ever fall below my in my entry point I think it's gonna reverse exactly from that strong key support level I don't think it's gonna uh, exceed it so let me just set the safe zone to be exactly right at it so therefore the safe zone should be ranging for 42 pips and we can just increase it a little bit more let's go back to the four hour time frame so we can tell exactly yes 50 pips which is really fair so uh, let me just draw for you the safe zone there goes your safe zone and exactly like this that's gonna be our signal for the uccchf and i really hope it will work very well and bring us lots of profits let's now take a look at the gold now the gold actually my friends has made this strong bullish momentum and by the way i'm really proud of my signal for the last week for the gold i mentioned that we can uh, actually on the midweek analysis video I have mentioned that we can start shorting the gold exactly from that point at 100, 1,800, uh, I think 10 or 11, 1,811. And exactly from that point, the, the gold actually has fallen for almost 100 pips, 100 pips of profit. I really hope you guys have enjoyed 100, I mean 1,000, 1,000 of pips, 1,000 pips of profits, guys, guys, sorry. It has fallen for 1,000 pips of profit. I really hope you guys have taken this signal and have enjoyed making these profits. So what's next? What's waiting us next on the gold? On the daily chart, we can notice that the pair actually has made finally the breakout from this very strong or long-term support at 1,763. So most likely right now what's going to happen with the gold that it's actually going to make another pullback retesting that support level uh, and actually if we look at the left we can notice right here we are having as well a strong key resistance level most likely the gold is actually going to respect that resistance and it's actually going to continue the fall all the way until it revisits the support level at 1677 yes the gold actually has broken um i honestly speak honestly speaking i was expecting from the gold when i saw this strong bullish momentum right here right here I was expecting from the gold to continue the rise until 2000, uh, 2073 and actually break out from that level. But this movement right here is shockingly uh, happening right now. And I, I think the gold, uh, I don't want to say crashed, but actually it's uh, just keep falling. I really don't think it's going to fall beyond the support level. Most likely this is going to be the turning point and I believe the gold has to revisit that price level before continuing uh, or actually before making any bullish reversals. So that being said, you uh, the gold actually should be good for the short exactly from that point. Now, we need to go back to the 4 hour time frame to identify where we can start again shorting the gold by looking at this strong. Now on the 4 hour time frame, we can see that the, we have here this strong bearish breakout candle and this is the nearest tail to this bearish breakout candle so therefore the level to start shorting the gold should be exactly from that point exactly like this perfect so this is this is going to be where we will short the pair sell at 1000 1754.93 of course for the safe zone my friends it has to be ranging until this uh, previous key support level so i think it's going to be a lot of pips i think it's going to be uh, that's a lot that's a lot let's make it right here until the peak of the resistance a little bit above the peak of that resistance so 200 uh, guys actually the gold is moving very fast i mean in just one candle 
one single candle we can see that the gold is moving for about 200 pips look at that one candle has moved uh, 220 pips and the next candle has moved for actually 200 almost 300 pips in one single candle so the gold is moving very fast you have to be always very careful when you are shorting the gold or trading with the gold because if you are trading actually with big lots then there's a high potential that you can, you can actually wipe your account you have to be very careful guys just don't take this signal blindly just because the extreme trader mentioned that we can start shorting here always be careful and always maintain, prepare for the losses this is what i'm telling everyone always pre please prepare for the losses because they are actually possible to happen anyway uh since we are going to short the pair right here from that point we can expect uh, the gold to fall for another almost 800 pips and hopefully we will make all these pips and profits so therefore the target is going to be 1600 sorry 1677 and that's enough that's it 1070 1677 and i really hope it's gonna be a very good uh, week and very profitable for everyone so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching